Since ancient times, warriors have been rated by their ability to overcome adversity. Their power usually comes into play in response to pressure. They risk their lives for fellow soldiers, but mostly for citizens they will never see. Those who die are honored. Those who survive are showered with medals and glory. As gnarly as they are, there is an elite group that outdistances even the toughest among them. These select few transcend the limits of human strength and endurance. They single-handedly face down kings, armies, wild beasts, and conquered even death itself. Because of this, they have achieved legendary status for over 2,000 years. Here then is God and Gangsters, top 10 toughest Bible characters of all time. 10. Samson. Samson defeated entire legions of his enemies single-handedly. He was once the most powerful man on earth, but he would soon be humbled after realizing that the source of his strength did not come from himself, but from God. Once that happened, it was all over for his enemies. 9. John the Baptist. John lived in the wilderness, ate locusts and wild honey. While there is no record of him fighting anyone, he never had to. His words alone were so powerful that many among Israel's most influential leaders walked miles into the desert just to hear him speak. His goal, however, was not to wound the arrogant, but to heal the broken. He humbled the power brokers of his day and eventually lost his head for calling out an evil king. 8. Moses Abandoned as a child, Moses became an Egyptian prince, then a refugee, then a deliverer of an entire nation. Imagine the scene as this desert-dwelling shepherd faced down the most powerful ruler in the world while he and his hitmen listened to the insolent words, Let my people go. Speaking directly with the God of the universe might make that confrontation easier. 7. Elijah Elijah the prophet knew where his power came from. He had such confidence in God that he was able to defeat those who had defied his heavenly king without laying a finger on them. In drawings, he looks old and bent. But no matter how tough you are, it's probably best not to mess with a man who can call down fire from heaven. 6. Daniel Daniel defied King Nebuchadnezzar by standing when most everyone else in the kingdom bowed. It would have cost him his life if God had not intervened and shut the mouths of hungry lions he was about to be killed by. 5. Paul Considered among the most brilliant people who ever lived, even Sigmund Freud recognized Paul's genius. The apostle took on the power of Rome itself. Shipwrecked, beaten within an inch of his life, he was once left for dead. But God had other plans. He not only lived, but the powers that tried to destroy him would eventually be brought to their knees by a far greater power. Or Stephen. Stephen was so hardcore that even Jesus himself cheered him on. While he was being murdered for his faith and rocks were breaking every bone in his body, he cried out, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. In a final act of compassion, he imitated the words of his Savior saying, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. 3. Peter. Peter was no wimp, but he was impulsive beyond belief. He offered to die for Jesus and once missed killing a man, instead cutting off his ear in his attempt to defend his friend. Only hours later was he backed down by someone identifying him as the follower of the Christ. That was then, but at the end of his life he was bold, brilliant, and defiant of all authority but God's. We have to wonder if he ever regretted his final impulsive words that led to him being crucified 
upside down. We won't know until we meet him in heaven, but for now, Peter ranks among the toughest men who ever lived. 2. David It is said that man looks on the outside, but God sees the heart. What God saw in David was not what everyone else saw, a little kid who knew nothing of war. To God, this humble shepherd boy was a mighty warrior and about to become the greatest king Israel ever had. David also gave one of the most impressive speeches of all time. Imagine this young boy standing before the baddest warrior of his time. Unequaled in size and strength, the giant stood in defiance of the entire Israeli army. Facing Goliath, David basically says, you're a dead man. Here are his more exact words. You come to me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This very day I will strike you down and cut off your head, and I will give the dead bodies of the Philistine army to the birds of the air and the wild animals of the earth, so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord does not save by sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hand. We all know the rest of the story and why we have rated King David the second toughest man in history. Number one is obvious. There is only one Jesus Christ, Yeshua ben Yosef, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Infinite love and wisdom are also among his attributes, but we're only ranking toughness here. Tell me if you think you measure up. For starters, can you take a nail through the hand without making a sound? That's okay, you can't create a universe with nothing but words either. Who among us can build anything from nothing? We can't even make our hearts beat, much less have any power over life or death. Nobody took his life from him. He gave it up willingly for those of us who rejected him. With all that, he still had the power and love to forgive even those who spat upon him, beat him, stripped him, place a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do competes with let there be light for the most hardcore words ever uttered. In fact, Jesus Christ is so tough that he can transfer some of that power to anyone who seeks it. Millions throughout history have found courage to face pain and even death through the power of the resurrected Savior. All the tough guys on our channel will tell you that none of them compare to the number one name on our list, Jesus Christ.